My name is Wayne Morris. I'm the Battalion Chief of Logistics and Safety. I've been with the department for 16 years. The advantage of having uh, logistics uh, cover both of the cities due to the merge adds to a massive amount of efficiency. Uh, it's kind of like a one-stop shop for the fire department. Logistics covers everything that we need for uh, the fire crews so that they can go out and do their job. It also takes care of maintenance and uh, testing and inspection of our gear and equipment. And so for both cities to be able to rely on a single entity to cover that uh, just makes it incredibly efficient. Uh, we serve all 16 stations. And so uh, having a single place to provide equipment and supplies uh, that we can deliver out to the stations just makes it super um, efficient. And that's something that we used to have to do, at least on the Springfield side, would do uh, indiv individually for each station. Some of the disadvantages uh, following the merge is where we're sitting right now, we don't have a singular funding source and uh, uh, finances are separated between the two cities. So any purchasing we do for the department for equipment or supplies should be separated per city. Uh, this causes uh, increased workload and it's uh, difficult to track. We have to keep equipment on hand. We have to keep supplies on hand uh, for use later. We, we can't wait until the request is made and then go purchase it. For example, if we purchase uh, axes, axes for the fire engine, uh, we'll, we'll buy those and keep them in, in stock so that we can issue them out uh, when the fire trucks need them. However, we can't track or we won't know which axe is going to which city when we make the purchase. That means that we have to backtrack and figure out what the purchase price was when we purchased the axe and then separate uh, when we make the issue uh, to a given station. So it's, it's a conundrum. It's uh, difficult to work through uh, and it's time consuming.